things to happen in order for you to see who you are. So that you can find out that you're a nobody because sometimes you forget that you're a nobody because now you're a somebody. And I think we need to get back to the reference point now. We're nothing without the grace of God. And I'm going to hear that fail miserably. When you felt like a worm, that you were no good because you failed, you said all these words and you said all these things that you're going to do, but then you fell flat on your face. And God comes around and the Holy Ghost and his angels and say, Hey, Pancho, what's up? I thought you were Superman. What happened? And he picks you up like a little cat from the collar and said, Come on, shake it up, baby. You just learned your lesson. You're a nobody. And I'm bringing you to the understanding that without me, you cannot do nothing. Because a lot of times we get full of speed with crackheads in the Holy Ghost. telling you this and telling you that. No, what happened is that you got involved in so many works that you forgot the voice of God. Yeah. Works are good. They ought to follow your faith, but you are not to get a hold of, uh, ahead of God. Because Peter got ahead of God and God said to him, get behind me, devil. Because the things that you say are not of God. Sometimes we're fleshed out. Carnelli Jones is on the scene. <laughs> Flex Gordon. <laughs> and God allows things to slow you down in order to accomplish what he wants to accomplish. There are forces at work. And the Bible constantly speaks of those forces. If you really pay attention in the word of God, you will find out that God is a powerful God, that a lot of times He will allow torment to come your way, He will allow pain to come your way, and He will allow sorrow, and He will allow failure to come your way in order to save your bacon. Come on. <laughs> Some preachers don't like to hear about suffering. They don't like to hear about pain. They don't like to feel about torment, but I'm telling you, if every preacher was sincere, and if God's people were sincere, all of us have gone through some suffering, all of us have gone through some pain, all of us have gone through some torment, but God always gets our attention. Don't forget that mighty man, Job. that he was an innocent man, got up in the morning and started sacrificing and would always pray for his kids, always up doing religious things. But one day there was a meeting in heaven, and God directed Satan over to him. He said, have you considered my servant Job? He's an upright man. And the devil said, yeah, he only serves you because he has things, and because you put a hedge around him. But if you tear down the hedge, I guarantee you, he will not serve you. And, and the Lord said, go ahead and make my day. I'll show you who that Job is. I'll show you that that man has something inside of him. He might be religious on the exterior, but that man loves me inside, besides all of the things that you're pointing at. And the Bible says that pain came to him when he lost all his sons. Pain came to him when he lost all his material things. Pain came to him when he lost all of his animals, which were his money. And then he ended up with boils in his body. And he ended up with people that were religious. And how many know that people sometimes will tell you, Oh, you're going through this because you're in sin. I remember when I got sick, I had one guy tell me, I had a, I had a hernia, can you imagine that? One guy, he, I'm limping, I'm going through a lot of pain, and one God said, that's a spiritual sickness. And I felt like turning around and saying, what a fool. <laughs> it is not a spiritual sickness, it is just a sickness. It's called hernia. <laughs> Sometimes we want to get so spiritual 
that we want to look good before people, calling things out, and helping the devil by your words. Because a lot of us help the enemy because we're so dumb that we say dumb things. 